yellow, white, yellow, white, and yellow. And I'll just go in order. Um, and we'll start at the top. Oh, Sonny is here. Um, yes, yeah, Sonny, um, you can hear me, I assume. So that's, can you hear me, Sonny? Leave a, a text. Yes, good. Um, Sonny, if you don't have a mic, um, you can, you can have, of course you can stay, uh, but I'm not obviously going to be able to hear you. Um, there is a button, a microphone button, and maybe it's red. So if you push on the red button, it might turn green. And if it turns green, there you go. Say hi. 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 Now hi, I can hear you. Now I can hear you. Is that, is that okay to hear? Is, it, is that a good sound? Yep, it sounds mm -hmm. fine. Yep. Uh, yeah. Great. Good then. Okay, very good. Very good. Welcome, Sonny. Oh, well, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for saying that. All right. Let me say hi to Paulo. Paulo just popped in too. Hello, Paulo. Hello, Coach. Do you do you believe in Odin? I don't believe. <laughs> uh, actually, let me go back to Ingrid. Ingrid, do you know Odin? Uh, is that God? That's right. That, um... I don't, uh, Wiccan God. That's right, that's right, yeah. yeah. Is Odin No, I don't there? believe, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I don't believe that stories were real. They I, invent. Yes, it's it's kind of, uh, yeah. I like the way Paulo used it, though. Instead of thank God, thank Odin. <laughs> <laughs> he believes in it. I think so. He's an Odin believer. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> We're teasing. Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and start at the top. Um, I'll have Ingrid start with the first yellow section, and then Makiko, this section here. Uh, Paolo, I'll give you this yellow section. Sydney, you're going to have this section. And we'll have Sunny take care of this section. And I'm going to have Vassy do one section. I'll figure no it out text. at the end. No text. Go ahead. Ah, I'm Go sorry. Ahead. I'm not showing you anything. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. As oh. we say in Japan, what you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'll have Ingrid do this yellow section and Nikiko do this section. Paolo, this yellow section. Uh, Sydney, you will have this section here. Sunny, the section yellow. And then I will give Vassy a section. I don't know what. And everybody, please keep your microphone muted until you're speaking. That will help the audio quality. Make sure your microphone is red. Great. Ingrid, start us off, please. Okay. Your five most essential pieces of kitchen equipment. Number one is table. Because no matter what you may eat, if people can sit down and break bread together, it's useless. Good kitchen table to eat at. Great. Mikiko? A knife you really like to use. Sharp, preferably, uh, unless you only like to like dull knives. I have this spoon that I just gravitate toward this spoon all the time. It's like a prism for me. Very good. Paolo, go for it. You need something that is special for you and its signif significance is strictly mental, mental comfort. Something that people very rarely think about. Light. I won't say it's got to be good light, but you need enough light. Very good. Sydney? You need plenty of light to see, and preferably a mixture of artificial and natural. I love my cook top. My cook top is near a big window, so I'm actually seeing shafts of light through smoke, and in different times of the day, as the light changes. I prefer to cook at some times because I'm getting this hard 
sunlight and I like the way it makes the food look. Great job, Sunny. I don't care if it's a gas cooktop or a grill or a fire fireplace. People that cook somehow in their life with a fire are different. And I like it. I think that the primal element of fire is something that one must reckon with. There we go. Very good, very good. I'm just going to get you on intonation. Uh, Vassy, which one do you want to do? You can pick. One, two, three, four, five. I don't care. You pick. Uh, Vassy, you think it's yes. Uh, Vassy, let me give you let me give you the last one because uh, this bold section is actually kind of tough. Uh, go for it, Vassy. I don't care if it's a gas cooktop or a grill or a fireplace. People that cook somehow in their life with fire are different, and I like it. I think that the primal element of fire is something that one must reckon with. And yeah, great job. There you go. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Um, and I'm going to ask you what you did here because you did a great job um, and excellent. Sonny did a great job too. The intonation here on the last one is tough. Let me go back to Ingrid first of all. Ingrid, give me the title. Uh, chewing the fat. More TH. Chewing the fat. So did you chew the fat with anyone today? No. Yeah. Yes. Meet my father. With your father. Yeah. Yeah. What did you talk about? She, she keeps all uh, windows uh, shut. It's too. <laughs> it's too dark. It's dark and and hot and there is no air and oh. <laughs> oh boy. You need you need to yell at your father. No, he is old. How old is he? Eighty. Wow, that's great. My dad. Yeah. My dad is seventy-four. He's getting up there. But as far as I know, he keeps the windows open. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, give me more. I'm gonna get, check your A's one more time. Right here, please. Because no matter what, what you make. Good. One more time, please. Because no matter what you make. Perfect. Sounds great. Uh, and speaking of make, uh, you made meatloaf today, correct? Yes. Yep. Uh, what are your secret ingredients? Uh, I fry onions and um, parsley. Parsley, parsley. Parsley, and then I made I make the dough with meat and egg and spices. Do you fry the parsley and, too? Uh, just just a, a little bit with the with the onions. onions. and then uh, uh, I make bread white bread in pieces and, put and it then in. I put um, some uh, soup like soup onion soup from, no no not onion soup a little bit of um, I, I don't know how I should call this some kind of soup it's like, it's like soup it's uh, instant soup Okay. A little bit, and I put it in in with the bread, and then I I uh, soak a little bit, and then the bread I make into the meat and the eggs and the spices and the onions, and then I make the the the, the loaf. Put it in the oven and heat. Yep. It sounds good. It sounds really good. What's your most essential piece of kitchen equipment? Uh, I need a lot of them. <laughs> one. Only pick one. Pick one. Frying pan. Aha, there you go, the frying pan. I, that's an, very yeah. important. Yeah. You need the right uh, size. The right size. I, I have four, five of them. 
I only have two and I'm never happy. No? <laughs> yeah. You need a new one. <laughs> All right, Makiko, let's go to you here. Put your vowels together. You only. You only. Good. Unless you only like dull knives. Uh, unless you only like dull knives. You only. You, ooh, ooh, you only. Good. Unless you only like dull knives. Unless you only like dull knives. I'll give you an 80. One more time. You want you want me like dull knives. Start with unless. Unless you only like dull knives. Unless you only like dull knives. Okay. <laughs> I want more linking, okay? Uh, okay, so I need linking. Right here, linking. Yes, you will. It's like, I don't want to say W, but it basically is a W. You only, you only, you only. You only. I liked it. Okay? Okay. Talisman. Ta talisman. It's like a talisman for me. It's like a talisman for me. Excellent, excellent. So, Mikiko, what is your most essential piece of <laughs> kitchen equipment? <laughs> oh, mm, scissors. <laughs> That's right, yep. Yeah, the scissors. It's so useful. It's nothing to do with the cooking. Is it to open the microwave packages? Well, not that bad, but <laughs> I tried to avoid everything complicated, like Ingrid did. <laughs> it's impossible for me that, that those details. You know, actually, Mikiko, for you, I thought the most important ingredient would be a knife or a spoon for your watermelon. <laughs> sure, sure, the watermelon. You know, every day I eat now because the summer and always in the refrigerator there's a watermelon. So that's in lovely days. You're in you're <laughs> in heaven. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to Paulo here. Thank pa you for asking. <laughs> Paulo, comfort. Yes, sir. Comfort. Yep. Don't worry about the O. It's actually like a short U. Comfort. Comfort. I always forget. Strictly mental comfort. Strictly mental comfort. And I want more ING. A lot of Brazilian students and Russian students, too, like to be short on the ING. And that's true. In America, many times, ING changes to more of an UN or an IN sound. But I want you to keep more. Something that people very rarely think about. Mm -hmm. Something, something. Yeah. Something that people very rarely think about. Good job. Very good. Uh, do you cook, Paulo? Yeah. What's your best I dish? My God, I I stopped eating meat for six months. Wow! Because I'm running now. Well, I only do I only make vegetarian food. Boring. Like ah, <laughs> I like it. Wow! Good. good. That's good. So what's your like most, what's your most essential piece? of kitchen equipment? Knife, of course. I like to cut things. <laughs> a big knife or a short knife? What kind of knife? Short knife, very sharp. So we, we would call that a paring knife probably. A paring knife. Paring knife. Very sharp, <laughs> yeah. I agree. Sharp is important. Do you yeah. have a whetstone? Yeah, I have one. Do you have a... By the way, I, I shot some knife today. Oh, did you? Yeah, to, get, to cut tomatoes. Yes, exact. Oh, if you don't have a sharp knife and you try to cut tomatoes... <laughs> <laughs> Smash the tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's right. You might as well have <laughs> stewed tomatoes. Yeah, oh my God. This is terrible. <laughs> terrible, terrible. 
Great job. Let me go to Sydney. Thank you. Sydney, yeah. we can say yeah. plenty and we can say plenty. Both are fine. I do want you to put these T's together. You need, let's do the first one with T. You need plenty of light to see. You need plenty of light to see. Good. Let's, let's make it smoother. Plenty of light to see. Plenty of light to see. Great. Now this time, let's cancel the T. You need plenty of light to see. You need plenty of light to see. Great job. Sounds really good. Very good. Let's do this one too. Uh, so we got F, T, S. Which, mm, which sound is the most important? The F or the T or the S? The S. That's right. Uh, everybody, 99.9% .9 of the time, the S is going to be the most important sound. You're going to need it. In this case, it's plural. It has specific meaning, plural, so we really need that. Uh, the T, of course, is one of the weak sounds. The F, if you remember, is in the S family. So we can actually get rid of the T, and it's going to be much easier. Chefs. Chefs. Perfect. So I'm actually, so I'm actually seeing shafts of light. I'm actually seeing shafts of light. Of light. Great job. And here too, light changes. Light changes. Great job. In this case, I do want a stop sound. Whoops. A stop sound. And right where the T stops, the CH begins. So it can be really fast. Light changes. Light changes. Let's compare two sounds. Let's do this. Uh, light changes, which doesn't make sense, but just for sound practice. And light changes. And I'm going to say both. I'll say it three times normally. Lie changes, light changes. Lie changes, light changes. Lie changes, light changes. You try. Lie changes, light changes. Lie change, light changes. Lie changes, light changes. Too slow. Listen again. I'll, I'll just do it once. Light changes, light changes. Light changes, light changes. Okay, it's good. I can hear the difference. What I want, I want it faster. I want it tighter. But, but actually, Sydney, I've spoken with you for about two months now. And actually, I think, I'm just guessing, your natural speaking speed is probably not as fast as other people. Is that true? Yes, 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 a, bit. a little bit is slower. And I'm guessing because you're a teacher, because you have experience as a teacher. Yeah, that's it. I, probably. So what you're doing is fine. I think normally somebody, instead of light changes, it's going to be light changes, light changes, light changes. Try it. Light changes. That sounded too much like this. I really want to hear that stop. Light changes. Light changes. Perfect, perfect. That's what I want. Great. This one too, Sydney. Certain. Certain. Leave the tongue. Certain. Certain. Perfect. I prefer to cook at certain times. I prefer to cook at certain times. Good. One more, please. I prefer to cook at certain times. You gave me a good tea. Make a stop tea. One more. I prefer to cook at certain times. I'll certain accept. Time. Yes, yes, yes. Do you cook, Sydney? No. <laughs> so how but do you can invite me? You can invite me. <laughs> so how do you eat? I wash the dishes. I wash the dishes. No problem. <laughs> so for you, what, what's the most essential piece of, equi uh, of equipment? A dishwasher? Yes, yes. For me, for me, the spoon and water. Spoon and fork. 
<laughs> yes, yeah, that's it, that's it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let me go let me go to Sunny here. Sunny, your pronunciation is really good. I figured it would be. Sunny does a very good job with uh dictation. Um and and Sunny Sunny, how long have you been a student? About two months? Uh yeah, it's been a it's been a one month and two weeks, I guess. Yeah. And so I notice uh, that your dictation is better than average. So I assumed pronunciation must be pretty good. And it is. Uh, you're doing great. Um, so I think for you, and similar to Vasi too, we've got a couple of students who don't really have too much of a problem with dictation. Uh, and we can go like to the next level, which would be the nuance. Uh, and that's where how you say it. Um, or how other people are saying it begins to be more important. And this sentence is a tricky sentence. So you want to try it again? All right. So what what kind of... Uh, the, I'm not going to tell so, you. You figure it out. Uh, all right. I'll just let me read yep. for a sec. Sure. Someone in their life. So the key, let me... That code somehow in their life with the with fire are different. Okay, so, and I talked about this in the explanation video, but you might have missed it. Let me go to Vasi. Vasi, what is the main point of this sentence? People are different. Right. Uh, <laughs> people which are um, are different. Yeah, that's, that's right. I mean. you, you got it. That's, that, that's exactly what I wanted. So the sentence is actually people are different, okay? Um, and the, the question is every people? No, it's actually very specific. People that cook with fire, whether it's on a gas stove or a grill or a fireplace, somehow people that cook with fire are different. People that cook with fire are different. So listen to that intonation. People, people are different. People that cook with fire are different. People that cook somehow in their life with fire are different. So we got the same thing. People are different. We can really feel that that's the sentence. But what kind of people? People that dance to blues music on sunny days in the summer are different. People that study English with Coach Shane are different. So this is the idea. So it's a very common expression, but that I want to hear that tone. And Vasi, you did a great job with it. Sonny, I want you to try one more time. People that cook somehow in their life with fire are different. Bingo. And to me, as the native speaker, it sounds very natural, very, very good. Okay? Thanks. Thanks, Coach. Vasi, this baby. Which one? Uh, something. No, okay, something. okay, so yes, <laughs> you can say that, but I want ING, so give me the whole sentence again. Um, I think that the primal element of fire is something that one must reckon with. Great. So, this is what I like to tell students. If you know absolutely how to say it perfectly, then I'll accept when you say something or something. I'll accept it then. Uh, however, because I'm the coach, I'm the slash teacher, I do expect to hear perfect pronunciation. Uh, but once again, I have to remember, uh, for some of you guys, whose pronunciation is generally very, very good, I, I will accept a little more something. <laughs> but something, Bessie, is really country. You want something to eat? Um, Umesh has joined. Go ahead, Sonny. Sorry, what, what do you want me to say? Oh, I saw your microphone go on. I thought you might have a question. I just... No problem. Let me say hi to Umesh. How you doing, Umesh? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Plans for the weekend? I'm moving to new apartment, so I'm going to clean up and uh, packing. <laughs> You're it's moving? 
Yeah, I'm moving to the same area, but uh, different apartment. It's uh, close to my office, so I can uh, go. I can take a walk to work. You can. Oh, that's great. Is it a bigger place or a smaller place? Uh, same city. Right now, I'm uh, like living four miles away from my work, and then I'll be like half a mile. <laughs> four miles is nothing. Yeah, but then it will be half a mile. So I, I love to walk actually. So that's nice. But what about your yeah. wife and your your children? And the school is like, you know, the, the apartment complex. Next is the school, and the next one is my office. Oh wow! <laughs> it's like that. So that's great. What about the cost? Is the cost the same? Almost same. It's not so much so much different. What about the size? Size is a uh, little bit uh, area is a little bit uh, smaller, but it's okay. That's okay. Yeah. As long as you have enough room, then yeah. Who's helping you? I got some uh, movers, so I booked already. Two men in a truck? Not two men in a truck. They are like a wasp. <laughs> I like stealing one. <laughs> I know. I had a problem with them too. So, you know, my friend was were telling me like some real cheap options, but when I tried to call their phone, their number was changed. So I thought like these guys are not good. Like who can cannot retain their number, like you cannot rely on them. So I instead of chasing them, I'm looking for some other uh, on a Yelp.com and I found some good ratings. So I booked them. One of my friends said, no, no, you should go and try the two men and truck. Okay. And when I call them, like for me a movement, like it would hardly cost two to three hundred dollars, right? And they gave me a quotation of seven hundred dollars. I said, Oh wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. So I said, Okay. <laughs> if I lived near you, I would help you, but unfortunately I live too far away. No, I don't want to hurt anyone because, and <laughs> so it's because I live on a third uh, third floor, so moving stuff is really hard. Oh. Otherwise, I could have moved myself. Oh boy, yeah, that's not easy. Yeah. Welcome. Let me say hi to Alex too. Alex, how are you doing? <clears throat> I'm fine, thank you, Coach Shane. And how are you? Did you come back from the park already? Uh, you know, um, today I, I only com commuted, I only commute from job, I just commute, and uh, uh, today we work. didn't go to the park, uh, we'll go tomorrow. Tomorrow, I got it, good, good, mm -hmm. good. Welcome, Alex. Thank you. Okay, so everybody, we finished this first section. Uh, Umesh and Alex didn't have a chance, so guys, I'll give you a chance in the Seinfeld in a second here. Any questions uh, on anything here? I apologize for taking too long. If I did, no questions. No questions. Okay, I'm going to close it. Shane, you spoke about uh, a, a knife, barely knife, something like this, a very sharp. Would you mind showing this? Yeah. Ah, very nice. Okay. Okay. Right. P A and we use paring knives for cutting small vegetables and peeling potatoes. Um, if you still do that, uh, yeah, paring knives are good for vegetable and fruit work too. All right. Let me go ahead and close this bad boy, and open up twenty three. 23 was our brand new episode here of Seinfeld. Poor George. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Um, so Alex, I want you to be George. Umesh, you are going to be Jerry. And Gulia, how you doing Gulia? I want you to be Susan. Go for it guys. I'll get rid of my picture here. Go for it. Hello? Hey, MHC is rerunning the Yankee game. You watching this? They are? George, I, I come in the bed. I tapped, I tapped mad about you. 
Ah, yeah. I'll be there in a minute. What was that? Alex. Ah, huh, nothing. I gotta go. Oh, man, you're just single. You know, it was really very wrong of you to back out on that deal. I didn't make a deal. I just shook your hand. Yeah, well, that's the deal where I come from. We come from the same place. <laughs> George, I'm starting it. I gotta go. <laughs> okay, Alex, that was terrible acting. Umesh, great job. Gulia, great job. <laughs> Let me go back here. First of all, to Umesh. Uh, hey, MSG is rerunning the Yankee game. Hey, MSG is rerunning the Yankee game. Okay, everything sounds real good, but I do want you to get MSG. Now, normally, we don't need to know MSG, but in cooking, do you know MSG, Umesh? No. It's it's actually what is it? Mono sodium glutamate. Uh, glutamate. There you go. Um, it's uh, it's a type of uh, spice that many uh, restaurants use uh, in their food, um, and actually, it's very unhealthy. So it is something that I hope all of you know, especially if you have kids and you can look on the, you know, on a product and if, if you see MSG or monosodium glutamate, don't, uh, don't eat it. Throw it away, especially for children. It's not good for children. Is that spelled right? That doesn't seem like it's spelled right. If anybody sees, is, it, is that right? I just want to check here. So I want to practice the pronunciation again. MSG. MSG. Uh, monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate. Good. Glutamate. Glutamate. Good. MSG is rerunning. MSG is rerunning. Okay. MSG is not healthy. MSG is not healthy. Uh, there you, I like it. MSG. So even though these sounds go together really fast, we can distinctly hear each. MSG. 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 FBI. 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 CIA. CIA. Great job. Yeah, very good. Very good. Let me go to Alex. I'll be there in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> really good. Alex always does good the second time. Let me go back to Umesh. Shook. Shook. Keep it down a little more. Shook. Oh, shook. Okay, not shoo. Okay, shook. Shook. I just shook your hand. I just shook your hand. Perfect. And Alex, that's a deal where I come from. Mm, that's... That's the deal where I come from. <laughs> Great job. Very good. Uh, poor George. Um, yeah, there's not too much here. Let me go ahead. Let's have uh, Gulia. I'll give you these two, too. Gulia, both of these. Okay. Roxy, where have you been? We've been worried sick about you. What's this? Hmm. Rudy's. No, no, it's impossible. It's impossible. <laughs> Great job. Very good, very good. Uh, let me go to Ingrid. I want you to be Elaine. And let me choose Paolo. You are Jerry for this one here. Go for it, guys. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. We are practically in Monticello. I mean, how could that thing have found its way back? There's no way. Very strange. I know. So tell me anyway, who was the big mastermind? I can't, Terry. 
I'm sworn to secrecy. All right. But then I can tell you the big news. <laughs> news? What news? <laughs> Sorry. Hmm? What? What? <laughs> All right, Elaine. But this is beyond news. This is like Pearl Harbor or the Kennedy assassination. It's like not even news, it's total shock. Oh, come on, Terry, please, please, please. <laughs> mm. George Costanza. Yeah? Is getting married. Get out. Wow, <laughs> that was excellent. My goodness. Both of you did a super job. Very pleased. Very happy. Wow. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Let me keep going here. Kramer and the cops. Sydney, you're Kramer. Yeah. Sonny, yeah. you're the cop. Go for it, guys. Hi. Are you Cosmo Kramer? Uh, yes, yeah. You recognize this piece of fabric? Oh, uh, yeah, that's... What? Nothing. You're under arrest. Arrest? I have a receipt for a rental car with your signature, including a report of some damage to the rear seat. It seems as if the spring were so compressed that they completely collapsed the right side. Go ahead, uh, Sydney. Newman. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let me go first to Sonny. Sonny, I want to hear more E. You recognize this piece of fabric? You recognize this piece of fabric? Good. One more time. You recognize this piece of fabric? Good. What does it mean to clam up? Oh, I don't think I explained that. Uh, you never explained to I us. I didn't. Yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, that's in the. I should have explained that in the explanation video. Sorry. So here's your chance. What does it mean to clam up? No, I did explain. Uh, that. I did in the explanation video. Ah, uh, yeah, you. You explain to us, and it's kind of uh, stop. You your acting is a stop, and you're kind of uh, in, uh, nervous. And that's right. Specifically, you're speaking. You you clam up. You shut up. You shut tight like a clam. So this is what Kramer does. Oh yeah, that's a. And then the cop knows. Aha. What? What? Tell me, tell me, tell me. So once again, it's like, you recognize this piece of fabric? Oh, yeah, that's a... What? What? Tell me, tell me. This is the idea. So, one more time. Cop and Kramer. Go for it, guys. You recognize, a bit, uh, you recognize this piece of fabric? Sydney. Oh, yeah, that's... What? Okay, it sounded much yeah. better. It sounded much better. Let me hear it one more time, and I'll try and act while you guys say it. Go ahead, one more time, starting with uh, Sonny. You recognize this piece of fabric? Sydney. Yeah. What? Where is it? Okay, oh, yeah, that. What? Good, yeah. very good, very good, very good. So the key is here, this clams up. So, oh yeah, that's... What? And that's the idea. Okay, the intonation is important. A little bit of pronunciation here, uh, Sonny. I want to hear the z sound and keep the P. So this sentence, uh, this is actually kind of a tough sentence. Try it again. It seems as if the springs were so compressed that they completely collapsed the right side. Bingo. Very good. And Sydney, the last one? Newman. Newman. <laughs> Great job. Very good. Uh, we're going to keep going here. Uh, let's see. I got uh, Vassy. I want to get Vassy here and Betitha too. So let's do this. Uh, I'll give you guys more. 
actually let's let's go back here yeah um vassy i want you to be jerry and beth i want you to be elaine in this section here go for it guys I don't know. I don't know how it happened. We were practically in Monticello. I mean, how could that thing have found his way back? There is no way. Very strange. I know. So tell me anyway, who was the big mastermind? Oh, I can't, Jerry. I'm sworn to secrecy. <laughs> All right, but then I can tell you the big news. News? What news? Sorry. <laughs> what? What? All right, Elaine. But this is beyond news. This is like Pearl Harbor or the Kennedy assassination. It's like not even news. It's total shock. <laughs> oh, come on, Jerry. Please, 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 please. <laughs> George Costanza? Yeah? He's getting married. Get out. <laughs> Wow, everybody does such a good job here. Very, very, very good. Great job. Oh, Bertha, here's your dear friend. Thank you. Back. <laughs> Great job, yes. Found its way back. My mistake is back again. <laughs> Thank you. Great job. What does this mean, Vassie? Uh gesticulation, gesticulation. Maybe a lot of gestures, like with hands. Read this sentence one more time, please. All right, but then I can't tell you the big news. Oh, come on, that was horrible. One more. Oh, you better do it, and I'll repeat after you. All right, but then I can't tell you the big news. Yeah, okay. All right, but then I can't tell you the big news. It's, it sounds so much better, so much better. Good job. I'm going to get uh, Bassie and Sonny again a little bit more here. Uh, Sonny, you're going to be Newman from now out. Uh, Bassie, I'll have you be Kramer. And uh, Makiko, I think I skipped Makiko. Oh, my God, I'm sorry, Makiko. Makiko, you are Elaine. You want me to go? Yep. What took you so long? Hey, what do you think they'll do to us? Ah, don't worry about a thing. In 20 minutes, that place will be swarming with mailmen. We'll back on the street by lunch. I got to make some changes. I'm not a woman. I'm a child. What kind of life is this? <laughs> Great job. I'm going to get um, Sonny and Mikiko a little bit. Let's do this one again, Sonny. We'll be back on the street by lunch. One more. We'll be back on the street by lunch. Good. I want an evil smile. We'll be back on the street by lunch. <laughs> we'll be back on the street by lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the video of the Grinch? Uh... Not really, but you you uh, taught us some strong cringe uh, animation uh, at the daily no, I mean the e cube. That's right, I did. Yeah, that's what I saw. I want you guys, and I I know you know the the videos are sometimes long. I do know, um, but when you can, please watch the explanation video because it will help you. Especially, and I'm I'm speaking especially like to Sonny and, and Umesh, Bertha too. Um, it it will really help you with that nuance of the English, um, uh, and uh, it it makes it it brings depth to it. It makes it fun. And let me go to Mikiko here. Mikiko, I want you to sound more stressed. I gotta make some changes. I gotta make some changes. I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. I'm a child. I'm a child. What kind of life is this? What kind of life is this? <laughs> Great job. Thank you. Uh, Bassie, can you sing this for me, please? No, I don't sing. 
<laughs> you would complain as always. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who wants to sing for me? Alex? Believe it or not, I had a, uh, we have a, one of our students is from Belarus, um, and he's a, he's a gangster, and he sang it for us. He did a good job. I'd say, can I say that, but I, I can't forget the music, but I, I'll try. Can Give I? Give it a try, please. <laughs> Tell me why I love you like I do. Tell me who can set my heart. Okay. Tell me who can stop my heart as much as you. <laughs> tell me all your secrets and I'll tell you most of mine. They say nobody's perfect. Well, that's really true this time. I don't have the answers. I don't have a plan. All I have is you, so darling, help me understand. Wow! <laughs> Great job! Alex, have you been listening to this over and over and over? No good jam. It was my first time. Alex, I want you to memorize this, translate it into Russian, and on your wedding anniversary, sing this to Gulia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a it's a very popular sitcom in America uh, for I don't know who, but for for several years. But, uh, yeah, it's a uh, personally, I really hate the song. I mean, I really hate the song. Uh, it's a perfect song for, uh, I don't know, I guess romantic people. <laughs> but, Gulia, you did a great job. Excellent job. More V. Watch the V. I love you like I do. One more time. Love you. I love you like I do. Very good, very good. Everything else. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there is the video uh, of Camila's dancing for the music. I don't remember. Did I say it now? Oh, I think I did. Was it a video? Yes. I'm Maybe sure it, I did. I, because, you know, uh, this was uh, the song which was from our, I don't know, uh, no, two no, no, or no. three oh, my God. You know videos what? ago. No, yeah. I, I see it now, and I, I didn't click on it. Oh, I get so much email, but I absolutely yeah. will. I'm so sorry, but I see it now. I, I just wanted to say that Camille always asked me to uh, to play this music, you know, and this is the music from 1970, maybe, so it's old music, and she likes it. That was, uh, whoops, whoops, <laughs> save. that was 322 you were talking about. What song was what I, was I playing? Ah, probably Earth, Wind, and Fire. I think I was playing Earth, Wind, and Fire music. That's some good music from the 1970s. That's a, you know, that's a very, in one thing I, you guys have probably noticed, um, I'm trying to insert a bit more music into the lessons, uh, just for fun, but also it, uh, it helps break the monotony. And these are songs, the, the songs that I play are mostly, I would say, if you're 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, everybody will probably know the songs. Maybe not every song, but 30s, 40s, maybe the 20s too, but especially 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, everybody will know the music. And, and knowing the music or being familiar with the music uh, is very beneficial in uh, learning the language and feeling more comfortable with the language. So that Camila is dancing to it, uh, that's great. I'm going to watch that uh, a little bit later. Uh, actually, Camille is dancing to every music, especially when I'm I'm listening to DDM, she's dancing for every music that she heard. I love yeah. it. I love it. <laughs> like, uh, and thank you very much for putting those um, MP3s. I really love the song. I, how much is that? Oh, yeah, the window. Um, same here, same here. I also like, in my 
when as soon as I sing that line, how much is that dog in the window? What my daughter says? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. You know, I, that really makes me happy. Uh, that's really great. I really love it. That's great. And I haven't heard it before, but the first time, I just like it so much. It's a nice song. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a classic. I got, oh, here we go. <laughs> I'm watching Camila right now. <laughs> oh, this is great. We got, uh, I'm going to, I hope you don't mind, Gulia. Can I show a picture? Yes, yes, of course. Kachin, today I played this music, I think, ten, ten times for sure. <laughs> I'm going to show everybody. This is, uh, of course, we had the song in our lesson. Uh, let me bring this closer here. Camila is on the, oh, that's so cute. I'll start it over here. It's pretty short. Oh, wow, look at here. How, how adorable. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. Camila's a star. I want to see I want to see Alex and Camila dancing together though. Yeah. Okay. Camila Camila is going to be fluent in English very soon, you know. Oh, uh, I guarantee by hanging out with her mom as her mom and dad practice all the time, it's going to have a very positive impact on her. Uh, obviously, you know, what we study is not for children you know, vocabulary and everything, but, uh, uh, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be really good, really, really good. Yeah. Okay, questions about anything, any of the lessons, questions about anything, uh, open mic. Nice hair today. I still have a few. It's, it's growing, you need a haircut. I know, I do, I do. I need to shave and get a haircut. Nature is just a single. Nature is just a single chain. Nature's unkind. Okay. okay. This expression, nature's just single. Nature's just what? No, 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 nature, no, no, above, above, go, go. It's just singled, something just singled. Uh, Mattingly is just singled. Yes, Mattingly, yes, Mattingly. So the grammar is Mattingly has just singled. Uh, single, Mattingly is a guy. Uh, uh, okay, okay, Mattingly, okay, okay, Mattingly, that's my, okay. Yep, it's the name okay, of a sorry. very, very famous baseball player in America. Ah, oh, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely. Sydney got a phone call. More it's okay. It's, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Madeline has the... I didn't know this, this girl. This Madeline. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. For me, it's okay. Good. More questions? Anything? Don't be shy. Well, uh, can you check my pronunciation and climb? Yep. Climb. Climb. Good. Don't let, don't let uh, Clive come. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to say Clive, okay? Yeah, no, I, I meant to say Clive. Yeah. Don't let uh, Clive climb Dumb's waiter with a bad limb. Good. Don't let Clive climb the dumb waiter with his bad limb. Don't let Clive climb the dumb waiter with his bad limb. 
Perfect. Very good. Very good. Every B is silent. Yeah, but the, I don't know. He was correcting me this morning that I didn't pronounce climb uh, well, and and she and he said to make it the dark L, and I I told him that I don't think that that is a dark L because usually the dark L is before a vowel, isn't it? Um, and okay, regarding light L and dark L. Yeah, there's it's really I, I don't think we should say there's a rule. The only rule I will say is light L is easiest to hear and pronounce. But um, there are many people who never use a light L and they only use a dark L. So it depends on where the person, you know, what their native background is. Uh, for example, the uh, I, I, what is it? Is it Scottish Scottish people will really like like like. What? I can't remember. Um, I think Scottish people only use a light L, and Welsh people from Wales only use a dark L. I think that's one area that you could compare. Um, so climb, 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 climb. Dark L, no problem. Climb, 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 light L, no problem. Um, let me let me try the dark L. Mm -hmm. Climb, 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 climb. Light L. Climb, 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 climb. Okay, so if I can speak for Clive, I do hear a difference. And interestingly, I hear more L from you with a dark L than with a light L. Um, so maybe that's what he was going for. I'm just guessing. Yeah. So if you recommend uh, me saying the dark L? Yeah, that's kind of strange because I almost always recommend the light L, but for some reason I th – do do uh, do this right here. Don't let light climb. Do dark L. Don't let the life go. <laughs> I don't know. I, I haven't practiced that dark yeah. L with a consonant, so. Yeah, um, go ahead and keep your light L. All right, but I'll keep the dark L in the endings, you know. Right, yeah, I think that's, that's safe. Uh, people develop their own systems. Sometimes different words are, it's easier with a, with a dark the, rather than a light L. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You bet. Marlene, can you hear now? Marlene's saying I can't listen. No. Um, hmm. Perhaps the microphone speaker is switched. It happened to me once. Yeah, I think Paulo changed from cyclist to runner. Um, you might want to maybe uh, join again. Sometimes that works. Umesh, did you have a question too? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. I wanted to check my pronunciation on two words, okay, and see, uh, tell me like really what you hear. One more time. Vendor. Uh, vendor. Oracle. Is that right? Yep. Okay. So let me give you a sentence instead. Well, how do you, like, is it, was it good? Uh, because I, when I was telling someone, we were three guys in a car. The, sub, the one who was writing, totally wrong, like, totally something. She, she wrote something, and the other guy said, no, he's saying this. I said, like, really, it was that bad? <laughs> yeah, well, for me, um, I did concentrate, so I was able to hear, but it could be vet, it could be better. So let me try and help you, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so say this word again, vendor. 
Linda? Remember, when you see OR, almost all at the end, almost always it's the same as ER, so vendor. Linda? Good. That sounds much better than before. The intonation is going to go here, vendor. Oh, Linda. Good. Now, for this word, um, I was hearing your R touching. Don't do that. I, I highly recommend when you say this word that you go a pure O and then a real quick r oracle, oracle, oracle. Oracle. More O. O. Oracle. Oracle. Good. Oracle. So try this. Who's the vendor, Oracle? Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? One more time. Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? Oracle. I'm, Oracle. No, I'm still hearing, I'm not hearing enough O, and your R is still touching. Oracle. 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 Good. Vendor. Vendor. Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? More O. More O. Oracle. Is it Oracle? So what I'm almost hearing is I'm almost hearing like an aw, aw. And I don't want an aw. I want the O. I really want you to get more O. Make, really think O, O. Oh, okay. O, Oracle. Oracle. Or. Don't watch. Or. 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 O, or Oracle. Yes. Oracle. Now let's do the wrong one. Oracle. 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 Yeah, that's wrong. Oracle. Oracle. That sounded really good. Try this sentence again. Okay. Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? Who's the vendor? Is it Oracle? Don't be afraid of the O. Is it Oracle? Is it Oracle? That sounds better. It really does. Try it again. Is it Oracle? Is it Oracle? I'll give you an... I'm sorry, I'll give you an 87, 88. Is it Oracle? Or. Is it Oracle? <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. Is it Oracle? Yes, that was okay. Okay, okay. okay got so it. You, can, you can almost, you know, it might be benefit. I assume you say Oracle a lot. Uh, not, yeah, yeah, I can say that. Okay. Not a lot, but yeah. More than most people probably, you're in computers. Mm -hmm. Maybe this, try this, or, or, or. Or, or, or. Yeah, two syllables, or, or, or. Or, or, or. That sounds really good. Oracle. Oracle. Yes, that was beautiful. So I think uh, vendor, we'd take care of that. You're, you, I think you should be okay with vendor. Um, with the Oracle, anything with an O, and not just people from India, but people from Russia too, especially, have a problem sometimes with the O sound, and it's too short. And if it's too short, it's going to sound like an aw, which is really different, very, very different, which can be very confusing. So perhaps taking your O, in America, it's usually spoken English is not a diphthong, but for you, making it more of a diphthong might actually help. Okay. Okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, I was wondering, like, What's going on? What did I say? <laughs> she wrote it. some person's name actually instead of Vander. <laughs> you can and next time next time if she does that, tell her you need uh, some cotton swabs. <laughs> Do you know cotton swabs? What's that the cotton bar you think? Uh, I'll show you. Uh, Oh, this one. Okay. What What do you use this for? Earbud. Yeah, to clean your ear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her ears are dirty. <laughs> she has potatoes in her ears. Tell her to do that. <laughs> okay. I'm teasing. 
Uh, no, your pronunciation, uh, vendor was not bad. Oracle was a little bit tougher, but I know that you're in computers, so I was able to catch it. But I think or, or, by making it kind of a diphthong is going to help you a little bit more. Please, Umesh, and to everybody, find those words, write them down, put them on your cell phone, and bring them to me. Email them to me. Um, and, uh, and yeah, they're very important. These are, these are things that really affect your life. And it's frustrating. I know it's frustrating when you say something and somebody doesn't understand it. It's, it makes you mad. So when you have that, send it to me. Um, you know, everybody's, most everybody's got a smartphone. Make a quick recording, send it, and I'll give you a quick feedback. Just, you know, three, four words, nothing too long, three, four words, and boom, I'll help you out. Uh, somehow Americans, they do understand my broken English, you know, even since I immigrated from Mexico, I remember they, uh, I didn't have problems, like, and this man keeps saying people, oh, Berta speaks very good English, and it wasn't true, because uh, then when people spoke very quick to me, I didn't know how to answer back, but I know I have uh, problems and a lot of vowels and still consonants. But somehow people, I mean, I speak too fast out there with everybody, and they understand me. They have no problem. That's good. You're lucky. People, people just, uh, I guess, have a special. Maybe you use more body language. Yeah, and I'm kind of funny too. I mean, I'm kind yeah, of, you have, you've got a bright, happy personality. Umesh, yeah. Umesh is always an angry man. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I have two co uh, two coach uh, coaching. Okay, one is you, and uh, other one is my friend. He was a uh, he's uh, an American. He was in Kuwait, uh, and he recently came here and he became a project manager with us. And he since he was a new, so I was helping him a lot, and I was the lead engineer on his project, so I was really helping him a lot. So and he was like uh, big. He was from uh, army, oh. so he like a really huge, you know, monster. <laughs> Big guy, a big guy. So he was like constantly asking me, you know, why don't you come and join me in the gym? Oh, I'll coach you. I'll coach you. And then finally, I decided. And every day, we almost like at least three to four days in a week, we spend two hours in a in the gym, and we constantly talking. And yeah, you know what? I, this and and you know, Umesh, you're really lucky. Um, through him, not only are you going to get big and strong and healthy, but your English is going to really improve but you have to do something you have to tell him mm -hmm. that hey if my pronunciation is kind of strange please tell me and it's going to help you so much okay, okay. okay. and his, no, his name is Shane Sh Shane's are generally good yeah I'll find him <laughs> Sydney has a, a question here Orange, orange. This is a tough word too for lots of people. Some people do say orange, orange, especially down south. But for most Americans, it's one syllable: orange, orange. Um, and also, like Oracle, we can kind of make it a diphthong: orange, or, 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 orange. What you need to remember, everybody is thanks a lot Alex and you say say goodbye to your wife and have a great day tomorrow boom he's gone um, don't let your tongue touch when you do the R sound don't say orange oracle that's gonna really be confusing some Americans no problem but some Americans what orange or what? Yep. so try not letting your tongue touch orange orange Go ahead, Sydney. I'm going to give Sydney a sentence. Orange. Okay, I, the cotton swabs there. there. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Try this okay, now, okay. Okay. The the oracle the oracle 
told me to eat green oranges and orange apples. Good. Faster. One more. The oracle told me to eat green oranges and orange apples. That was really good. Mikiko says, oh, yeah. Once again, Mikiko, um, and Bethan knows very well, I hate diphthongs. In daily English, Americans rarely use diphthongs. Their speech is so fast, it goes into one syllable. But actually, um, oh, oh, it does have that kind of diphthong feel to it. We need the R, though. So right now you have O-U and a small R. I prefer you have O-U and a big R, or, or, orange, orange. That's if you're having a problem. Uh, so... For example, for Umesh, I kind of recommend the diphthong. But listening to Sydney, it sounds pretty good. I don't think he needs the diphthong. I think he can stay straight. Oracle, orange, orange. Try that, Sydney. Oracle, orange, orange. Oracle, oranges, oranges. Good. You're doing orange, which is okay. Uh, absolutely fine. And it sounded really good. Good. Okay. You see, you said the Americans, they don't use diphthongs, but actually I think they do, for example, when they try to learn Spanish, to say ro rosa, rosa in Spanish, we don't use the diphthong, and they say rosa. It's going to depend. Uh, it's going to depend on the situation and the speaker, of course. But what I mean is... Um, if you if you listen to the news or to a sitcom, sometimes you will hear like character A use a diphthong, but then character B doesn't use a diphthong. You you will hear both. Absolutely, me too. Sometimes I say orange, and sometimes I say orange. But let's say for me, I'm going to guess 20% I say orange, and 80% I say orange. It just depends. It really depends. But diphthongs exist, of course. Yeah. Um, of course, because sometimes uh, to say go, you say go, yeah. other people say go. That's right. Go. So go home, go home, go home, go home. Go, yeah. go, go. Absolutely. And some people don't say home, they say home. Home, home. I want you to come home. Home right now. Go home. Home. Home is where your heart is. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I agree. Yeah, that's the reason I said you're my enemy, because you don't believe in deep tongues, but I do hear them a lot. <laughs> Not deep tongue. <laughs> deep tongues. Deep tongue. Oh, I can't even spell it. What the hell? Uh, there we go. Deep tongue. D-I-P-H-T-H-O-N-G. I like it. Uh, I got a message. Deep tongue? Deep tongue? Yeah. 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 I was Nah, speaking Spanish. Sonny, go ahead. Go ahead. I want. Let me hear you. Uh, today, when I when I was working, I said to my coworkers, "They're they're they're uh, Australian Australians," and I I talked to them several times, uh, and they didn't understand when I said uh, "see you upstairs" and and uh, what? How about how? How is upstairs? Is that is that uh, sounds weird and doesn't understandable? It it was even for me. Uh, even knowing what you're gonna say, it was a little too fast. And what you did um, is you you made this too much of a schwa, and I don't recommend that. Um, this is a directional preposition, yep. so you should probably keep the pronunciation a little bit clear. So try it again. See you upstairs. Too much schwa. All right. Uh, see you upstairs. Yeah, but you can still do it fast. See upstairs. See up. See up. See up. See, see up. upstairs. See upstairs. Yeah, that sounds much better than what you said earlier. Uh, okay. Before you said... So, before I heard see upstairs, see upstairs, see upstairs, see upstairs. No, see yeah, up, see up, see up. up. All right, really yeah. drop it. Yeah, see upstairs. And Is that better? 
much better. And believe it or not, if you're, I know in Korea, you're Korean, right? Yeah, I'm Korean. Some Koreans use a lot of body language, but a lot of Koreans don't. So go ahead and especially with directional prepositions, up, down, over, uh, and words like here, there, adverbs like that, use body language. See upstairs, see upstairs, or see downstairs, see whatever, yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't know, I, did, I, I said uh, schwa sounds uh, for a uh, you sounds, so I just, that's, that's very helpful for me. Yeah, I, I think it's getting yeah. better. Good, yeah, and like I said, uh, it's it's frustrating because see you upstairs. What the hell? It's too damn simple. Why don't they understand? Right, right. I I talked to uh, actually two guys, and then they they didn't understand. I, I thought my pronunciation improved so much, and and I said see very simple sentence, but they they said what. I, I was very frustrated by that. So tell them to clean their ears. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I know what you, you mean. So you know, I'll tell you about the Korean language. Uh, I used to have every time I said Chonhua Kad, nobody understood Chonhua Kad. Okay, I would go to yeah. the street to buy a Chonhua Kad. And they would never understand, never understand. And I'm like, come on, Chanhua Kad. Only then would they understand. So, so I understand the frustration of something so simple, but they don't understand. All right. Yeah, that, that's so much understandable. So, so much understandable now. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, I, I think I gotta practice more and more to get that up. That's all. Yeah. It is practice. It is practice. Yep. And, uh, and the Australians guys, see, what would the Australian be? See up, see up stairs. See up. I guess Australians. See up stairs. See up stairs. Yeah. It, they, they are kind of young guys, so I, I, they, when they say they don't have many accents about, about uh, you know, their saying, but when I when I talk to older guys, they they have many accents and many Scotland guys and Ireland guys. I I can recognize them, their accent because it was uh, so strong. Yes, yeah, Scotland, uh, Scottish and Irish people very similar, very strong accent. Right, right. That when when I just talk to them, uh, so immediately I can I can notice their, their sounds. Yeah, but younger generation in Australia, they don't, they don't have much of uh, uh, the not as strong. Yeah, yeah, not strong. And yeah. I, the re and it, this is happening in London too. And the reason is is uh, Hollywood. I mean, one of the reasons is Hollywood. Yeah, I guess movies and TV. I totally and agree. They, they're so into uh, the movies and uh, TV shows yep. and in. From the Hollywood, and they watch all the time, and yeah, I think yep. it's because that yeah, reason. It's a big reason, yeah. Yeah. I think Vasi or Umesh had a question. No. No, I don't. I asked my questions already. <laughs> You're angry. Oh, Vassy, oh, man, Vassy asked some really tough questions earlier. He made me so angry. I hate Russians. <laughs> yeah, I better keep my questions for the next one. I'll, I'll be ready for you. I'll be ready. Yeah, you'll be prepared better. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, I do – Sydney, are you asking a question or – Sydney likes you to drop one. That, no, 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 that's the young people, they speak more fluent because of internet. I would say Hollywood, I understand what, what you say Hollywood, but nowadays internet is the most, the reason of people keep in touch all the time, YouTube all the time, connections and so on. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. I, I absolutely agree with that. And, uh, and like I said, uh, the internet is the great equalizer. You know, before 
only the rich people, only the powerful people could go around, meet people, and cause war. Now, the poor people, well, you know, you and me, basically, the regular people, thanks to the internet, now we can go all around and we can see, pff, Sydney's a guy in Brazil, but he's no different than Umesh, who's from India, who's no different from Bassi, who's from Russia, who's no different from Sunny, who's from Korea. Uh, you know, people are all the same. Uh, you know, obviously we have different things, but we're all right. the same. So this is the great equalizer for language and for love. I mean, to say, sound really cheesy, but, you know, peace or whatever. World peace. And that's and that's why we are here talking. It is. It is. It is. So it helps a lot. Imagine you know, a lot of the people, different places, keep in touch at the same time, learning your your English, your way of speaking. Of course, we are going to repeat. Somebody going to listen and go. So that's the reason why younger people they speak in a less complicated way or with no with no so with no such accent as yeah. the older. Yep. I, I totally agree, Sydney. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Coach Shane. See you later. Absolutely. I'll see you in a... Thank you. I'll, I'll be back in... Coach Shane, see you later. See you in four and a half hours. Bye-bye, everybody. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. <laughs> see you soon, raccoon. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> okay. It's your wish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye bye.